Another critique of religion is that it's just a wish-fulfilling fantasy, that we're afraid of being alone in the universe or of standing on our own two feet, so we kind of created this, this myth about God who, who loves us, created us, you know, that there's life after death. All this just kind of consoles us in our radical existential loneliness. To me, it speaks to one profound fact, and it's this, that our religion is so beautiful that God's promises to us are so remarkable that perhaps to the human mind it all seems too good to be true. You know, that could God really love me this much? Could my life really ultimately matter? Can I really be eternal that I'm going to live forever? So religion makes some startling truth claims about God, but also about our, our human nature and destiny. And I can certainly understand why some people would struggle to believe that, because on one level, it, it seems too good to be true. And yet, when we look at our, our deepest fears, our deepest fears of, of being alone, of, of falling into death, of falling into nothingness, of, of being rejected, um, the ultimate fear that my existence has no purpose. I mean, religion answers all of those questions. And again, there, there's no way to prove that it's true, but God's revelation to us perfectly fits our human experience. And so did we create this or did God create us? Do I make up the truth or does the truth create me? I mean, those are, are two very fundamental different starting points that come to, to very opposite conclusions. I love um, Pascal's wager, if you've ever heard of it. Blaise Pascal was a French philosopher, mathematician, also a, a devout Catholic. And the way he put it was, um, let's say you live your life devoutly as a Catholic. And at the end of your life, uh, you come to discover, or you wouldn't discover this because you'd fall into nothingness, that that in the end, God isn't real, our religion isn't true. He would say, you're out nothing, because you still lived a good, purposeful, moral, ethical life. You're driven by uh, an integrity of principle and, and moral law. But let's say you live your life as if God doesn't exist. You don't obey his law. You don't live in a relationship with the Lord. And you, you come to the end of your life and realize all of this was true you could easily be out eternity. So his point was to practice the faith and to live as a believer, um, you're, you don't lose anything. But to not live as a believer, you ultimately risk the possibility of losing eternal life. It's called Pascal's wager. And for some people, it's, it's a convincing way to look at um, religion, to look at faith, and to realize that um, the, the truth of what the church states is the ultimate reality of who we are and who God is.